Hi friends, I'm so happy today. Why? Because today is World Happiness Day. So every one of us should celebrate today more than any day in the year. And again, people keep on pondering, why should there be a happiness day? Why should there be a sadness day? No, every day is happy and that depends on you. And I'm telling you, I'm so happy in this, my life so far, I can preach you to be happy. Life is a celebration. I realized a long back. And another important point is a lot of us, including me in the good olden days, used to think that there is happiness at the end of the journey. No, it is not the destination, but it's the whole journey that is exciting and that is accelerating. That's why you should enjoy your journey rather than the destination. If you keep that, I'll pass my medicine, then I'll be happy. I'll get married, then I'll be happy. I'll get a good job, then I'll be happy. I'll get a good car, then I'll be happy. No, these are all goal-oriented happiness which will never be there for you. Because the moment you reach one goal post, again, there is another goal post. So you never enjoy. So that's why start enjoying the journey right from now. That's why I keep on saying that you should stop to smell the flowers on the journey. So just don't be so focused on the end point that you will miss the fun of the uh, journey. And I just feel that being happy is so simple. To be sad is very complicated. To be sad, you need a lot of effort. You need a lot of negative energy. But to be happy, you just need nothing. You just be like a child. And let me tell you why the children are so happy. They are the simple souls. They are happy for no reason. That is how we should be. That's why I always keep telling that every one of us have got a child inside, but we kill them. The moment we become big, we think that it is inappropriate to be like a child. But I kept my child inside very, very dearly. That's why I do a lot of childish things. Some people might find it objectionable, but I don't care as far as it gives me happiness. That's why I stopped my car on the necklace road to buy a cob. I stopped my car in a old city to buy some pallis. So I stopped my car to see some children playing in the park. So that's how it should be. I can't imagine myself stiff upper lip like that and trying to be act as though I'm the best thing that happened to the humanity and I'm the boss of the hospital, no. So what are the rules of being happy? There is nothing. It is very simple. You got to be true to yourself. And again, there are many, many positive things that you got to be aware to propel you in the world of positivity. First of all, positive nature. That is what I feel that I am blessed from the God. I thank God for giving me that positive nature rather than any other material things. That positive nature keeps you going. And that's why I keep on saying that satsang, always meet the people who power you, who inspire you, who drive you to do bigger things, and who are the happy people. That's why I say a moment enjoyed is never wasted. But the moment you go to the negative people, the people who are gossip mangers, who got a lot of venom and negative things inside, you will feel drained out. That's why always good company is fundamental part to feel happy. That's why pick up a friend or pick up a book or pick up a movie, something which keeps you going and being happy. So that's very important point. The second point is the helping nature. The moment you start giving, your heart feels very, very happy and lighter. That is the beauty of it. We think that the people who take from us are happier. No, the people who give are more happier than the people who take. And you should thank that guy because he has given you the opportunity and the privilege to give which elevates your good hormone level in the body. So that's why I always say that helping nature is always one of the fundamental values every one of us should have. Another important thing is to be able to help and not helping is the biggest sin in the world as far as I am concerned. That is how you should act and progress in the life. The second quality I feel personally is the gratitude. 
gratitude is the best attitude in life that's why i kept all my operating theaters after the names of the people who helped me in my life starting from my 10th class teacher prasad to my post graduate teacher dr sancheti to my co brother dr bhaskar who helped me in uh, uh, coming up the career and uh, dr kutti who helped me in england and dr bose who operated on my daughter like that all the people who helped me in my life i kept them the names of the operating theater so every day whenever i operate in the operating theater i remember their names that's why there is a saying in english if somebody helps you never forget and if you help somebody never remember so that's how it should be so gratitude is another important quality which makes us happier then third point is spend quality time with the family and friends family means maybe parents maybe wife maybe children but that's very important because the family is the fundamental rock on which you stand up the moment you become so career focused you become an island and that becomes a rat race and it becomes running on the conveyor belt so that's why stop and spend some time it may not be hours and months together but just if you got old parents or if you got aging parents go and sit with them in the room hold their hand just spend even silence with them you may not be able to cut a, a beautiful conversation with them but just simply sitting there and holding their hand is good enough like that you got to plan some quality time with the family take a holiday now there are so many opportunities and holidays need not cost millions of dollars a simple weekend getaway cost you nothing but this all in the concept don't be workaholic workaholism is worse than the alcoholism lot of us do not realize that and another important point is love yourself and live for yourself at least one hour a day or one day a week tell me when did you last read your favorite book when did you last go to a movie and enjoyed yourself like a child no we are all caught up in the web of this uh, family commitment social commitments career enhancement we tend to forget ourselves but end of the day we have to take care of ourselves that starts with the body unless you are healthy you cannot do anything in this world isn't it so that's very very important point so exercise simple exercise it may be yoga it may be meditation and healthy food are very important points so that's why i keep saying that happiness are multifactorial or multimodal it can be physical happiness it can be mental happiness it can be intellectual happiness it can be social happiness it can be emotional happiness mental happiness means not nurturing any negative thoughts and be positive and emotional happiness and social happiness means maintaining a good relationships with the family and friends and another important point we keep on forgetting is forgetting to count the blessings you are alive you are healthy you got a job you got a food on your table you got a roof what else you want but we keep on grumbling for the things which we don't have that is where the cookie crumbles and how many of us and how many number of times we keep on complaining per day you count at least 100 times and that doesn't make any difference but it makes lot of difference in yourself you become a nagging boring man we complain on the roads we complain on the potholes we complain on the mosquitoes we complain on the drivers we complain on the uh, uh, milkman we complain on the papers we complain on the television we complain on the government everything complaint uh, don't bother me it doesn't mean that you should not have a social sense or social um, what do you call responsibilities it's entirely different but keeping moaning groaning for every simple or in uh, trivial inconvenience doesn't take you anywhere that's where you should really get out of that complaining mode and enjoy and count the blessings when you don't get sleep in the night don't bother to count the sheep count the blessings count the good friends count your parents who gave you all count your wife count your children count your friends like this all the blessings you have in life you will get a good sleep and coming for the enjoyment the modalities of enjoyment 
or the methods of enjoyment are plenty. Again, you don't need to be a millionaire to go to a holiday in Bahamas on a rich cruise and all that. No. Simple by reading a book, you can be happy. By listening to music, you can be happy. By developing a hobby, you just every one of us should develop a hobby. Whether it is listening to music, writing poetry, or listening to poetry, or simply going into cinema hall, or anything, that should burn you. That should keep you going. That should make you look forward to the next thing. So hobby is very important to keep yourself happy. And don't stress yourself. Again, stress is inevitable for all of us. Every one of us goes through the stress, especially in 21st century. But the way you extricate yourself from the stress is very important. In that, now there are very good methods. Even by the click of mouse, you can get a beautiful apps on the computer or on your smartphones, meditation, yoga, all these things are there. So develop a mechanism where you de-stress yourself and do not participate in the distress method or mechanism. And another important point is when you have children, let them enjoy their freedom or let them pursue their dreams as much as you can afford. Don't put a closed box like thing for your children. Do this, do that, like that. No, let them be adults. Let them enjoy the freedom. As far as you are concerned, give them nudging, encouragement and advice here and there. But being happy is very, very important in the life. End of the day, even biologically, happiness or the thought process of the happiness will increase your good hormones in the body and makes you very, very healthy and you are immune to so many simple things. That's why when you are happy, let us say a marriage in the family, a birthday party in the family, you don't feel back pain or neck pain. You just feel enjoyed. And the moment the everything is done, everybody has gone out of the house, all festivities are finished, you will get a nagging pain. That's what it is. When you are in happy mood, the body also enjoys that good hormones. So happiness is important biologically also. And finally, let me take you to an acronym. What I suggest is everybody should have a great dream to be happy. That means great means G-R-E-A-T, D-R-E-A-M. So let us see what these are. Great G means giving. So as I already told you, giving will increase the level of your happiness and it will take you to the nirvana level. So always enjoy giving. It need not be crores of rupees, a simple gesture here and there, a smile and a hug. These sort of things are also giving. So always try to give to others. Next R, relating. Relating means basically maintaining the relationships, whether it is a friend or wife or father or a child. Just pick up a phone randomly on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, pick up your good old school friend and bring him up with no vested interest. Lot of the times nowadays, the moment somebody rings, we start saying, ah, bol rahe, kya aapko? No, it's not like just ring without any agenda and just chit chat. If you don't have the phone number, make an effort to get the phone number. Thanks to the Facebook, thanks to the Instagram now, it's not impossible to get the phone numbers of the people. Now coming to the E in grade, G R, G means giving, R means relating, E means exercising, which I already told you, exercise. It need not be again costly gyms and all that. Simple walking is good enough to get you going. That is E. Now coming to the A is appreciating. That means it's a, again a gesture. If somebody has got a nice shirt, you just say, hey, nice shirt, man. If some baby has got a nice smile, you can say a lovely smile. Like that, appreciate every part of the life around you. That appreciation should be so liberal. As they say, be first to praise last to criticize. If you want to criticize somebody, take them into the room and criticize. If you want to praise somebody, put them in the open platform in front of 100,000 people, appreciate, praise. That is the best quality which makes you happier. Now coming to the T, in great, now we are going to the T, trying out. That means every day do something or try to do or acquire some new talent or some new expertise. As um, one late president of America said, every day you should do one thing which scares you. 
So that means don't be in your comfort zone. Come out of it. And just so many things are possible. Initially, you will be scared, but you get excited. Every challenge and every adversity, you should take it as an opportunity to test yourself. You may fail in some, no doubt. I failed in so many ventures of mine. But end of the day, that excitement to do something more and more should keep you going. Otherwise, life becomes so placid and dull. So that should not be the cause. Now, great, we have told G for giving, R for relating, E for exercising, A for appreciating, T for trying out. Now, dream. First, D means direction. You should have a goal and direction in your life. Otherwise, without goal, it is like uh, dribbling the football without scoring a goal. That goal can be simple or a big one or a lofty one, but it doesn't matter. You got to have a direction in your life where I want to go next five years. And then R, resilience. When you want to achieve something, when you want to be happy, when you want to do something, you have this quality called resilience. Without resilience, you will fall apart because there are so many hurdles, so many obstacles will come on your way. But you should be able to bounce back or take them head on. That is resilience. Now coming to the E. E means empathy or being emotional. Without empathy, you are as good as a table or a chair. That is what the human beings are. <coughs> empathy is very important to equate yourself with others, to see others' perspective and to relate the other's issues as yours. That is one of the fundamental uh, qualities or prerequisites to establish a good interpersonal relationships. That is empathy. Now coming to the A, acceptance. Accept what you are. I always used to wonder about my nose in the childhood that my nose is not good. But I have to accept myself. And I used to cringe that my name is not very posh or very fashionable. It's a very, what you call, rustic name. But I enjoy my name now. So what I'm saying is accept what you are. There is no shame in that. That is, again, very important point to be happy. That is where a lot of people keep on having battles within themselves because they are unable to accept themselves as they are. So that is very important. And last, M is meaning. There should be a meaning in whatever you do in life. So these are the acronyms which I found in the literature. Now again, being happy, you have a lot of things to help you. There are books, how to be happy. There are books, how not to be sad like that. There are many, many websites. There are people, Sadhguru, there are people, Godmen who keep on teaching you. Lots of things on the web to be happy. So now, to be happy is very simple. Be truth to yourself and enjoy every minute of the journey. And again, let me tell you, my friends, I'm not here to preach you. I'm also a simple human being like you all with my frailties, with my failures there. I'm not a God's gift to humanity. I'm also vulnerable for so many pressures. But I am now able to be content and happy within myself because I traveled this journey, ups and downs, I got my distilled uh, features of being happy. I want to share them with you on this happiness day. I want every one of you to be happy, my friends. As I say, being happy is easy. So let us all be happy and celebrate. Life is a celebration.